Hi everyone, welcome back. If you remember, the last video we did was how to replace Hornby idler gear on a West Country locomotive. The same applying also to a Battle of Britain or a Merchant Navy. Well, would you believe it? We've got another problem already. Hi, if you remember the last video we were showing you how to renew the valve gear on a Hornby West Country. Same procedure also applies to Battle of Britain and the Merchant Navy. And towards the end we showed you how to renew the idler gears and I showed you how to do that. Well, after testing the locomotive, all went well and we took to Model Club put it on the test track, it went forward, it stopped, then it jammed solid. Reverse, it ran, then jammed solid. Couldn't understand why. Took it apart and would you believe it, the idler gear has gone. But not just gone, there's a tooth there completely snapped off and a crack right at the top. I couldn't believe it after only having just done that. So it was a case of need to get new valve, new gears. And today, there we go. XX849 gear set Merchant Navy is exactly the same in a Merchant Navy, which goes on to the West Country, Battle of Britain, and a Merchant. And in it, you get the idler gear and you also get the second gear with the axle which is located in the body here now I uh, normally I would just pop this one in but there seems to be a different design it's quite interesting I think Hornby have seen what the errors of their way is if we put the old gear wheel there and just have a closer look there if you can see on that gear, apart from there being a hair on it, it's quite solid. If you turn it over, it's solid there, and sure enough, there's a huge, great crack right there, right up to where the tooth has come out. Now, then, looking at this new it seems completely different I'll take it out of the packet so if I bring that there I don't know if you can see but it seems to be moulded in sections um, as in there's quadrant holes inside which there never used to be and it's a much flatter material on that side you've only got the two little injection mold markings which are flush and then you've got the axle second axle piece mini axle sorry and that goes with it which is splined sensibly to make it grip so i think hornby have had a complete redesign of this because this should effectively stop the gears from splitting we'll see in the meantime it's time to take the loco apart and do it again. So here we have our loco ready to enter works again. And now to get the body off. Turn it over. And then right screwdriver, remove the pony truck, the front bogey screw. Drop that off. And then take off the main screw here. That drops out. And there. 
we have our chassis. So then, this is interesting. Oh, Lord above. That's um, Axel, this little beastie, and this little beastie. In there, just behind the middle driving wheel, is the access for getting to that. So all this has to come off. Who bother? I'm going to have a look inside and see if there's any damage to that. Because I don't really want to have to start taking drive wheels off, requartering and refitting all the valve gear back together again. The thought just does not appeal. So there we are. We look inside. There is that gear wheel with the axle. It goes from down the bottom there through to there to get that out. I'm just checking to see if there's any damage. And it does not look like it. It looks fine. If that had a crack or a tooth missing, I wouldn't have had any other choice but to take that out. And uh, I don't really fancy taking all this to pieces because it's hard enough job as it is. So then, that's our new idler gear. He's turning quite happily. Reattach him on there. Get our motor retainer. Slot that on the back. Screw that little nut, little screw rather on the back there to hold that in place. Put the cap back on, tighten that up, yes, as wanted, that has secured the valve gear, a bit of black tack here, this, why Hornby put this sellotape on, this backing tape, is beyond me, because it doesn't do anything, it comes off, a bit of black tack will hold your wiring in place nicely. And keeps it out the way. There. Right. So that's that done. Let's put him back together. Now that lovely job of trying to get it back in the body. Which is never easy. Getting those lugs lined up, that's the problem. Mind you, that wire doesn't like being up there. They like to be tucked behind the motor. Hmm, it's going to be one of those days, I think where we're going to have lots of problems. <clears throat> we 
when things start cracking and grinding, I don't like it. <sighs> Such a fiddle to get in. And of course, it would all happen on video, wouldn't it? There. She's in. Okay. Body fixing screw. Back in its hole. Pony truck. Front bogey. That wasn't meant to happen. Screw jumped out. These things are sent to trials. Over we go. That's back on. Always make sure you get the bogey the right way around. If you see, you've got the little guard irons on the front of the bogey. They go to the front. Now then. Some little blighter has come off. I'm not sure what it is. I can't see. But there she is. Back together. So then. All we have to do now is give her a test. So she is back together. Pop on her tender. All looks good. Valve gear looks fine. Underneath is okay. That's meant to come out. Yeah. So we'll get a bit of test track out and see how she performs. Fingers crossed she works. Oh, well, you're not going to believe this. Oh, dear. Talk about not concentrating. I did put the idler gear back in. Yeah, of course I did. The old one. I didn't put the new one in. There's the new one. Waiting to go in. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. There we go. Oh, I can't believe I've done that. How stupid. Well, there you go. Just go to show. Anything can happen when it normally does. So then, body back on. And then we'll give her a test. Okay, we'll see if I can give it a quick test with a battery. Before I put it on the test track, make sure it all runs. Hmm. Seems good to me, no jerking. Yep, right, put a track, we'll see what she does. So here we are at the Horton Common test track. Um, yeah, not a lot going on, as you know about the rebuild. Uh, Loco is on quite a long piece of track. This is what we use to make sure everything's okay. Anyway, let's give it a go. That seems to be running nice and smooth. Let's see how she goes through point work. See if that's good as well. Move my fingers out of the way. Nicely through the point work and back. So yeah, I'd say that's a success. So that's the new idler gear dropped in, the new valve gear. And uh, Definitely that new idler gear seems to be much better. 
I should hope so, being brand new. Now the test will be, will it split again or will it stay sound? Well, I'll give you some updates on how things are going. But for now, this loco's off to the weathering shops to become 34001 Exeter. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all. Bye.